and the languages in your life? Who won first? <laughs> okay. Um, buongiorno. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Bonjour. Selamat pagi. Ni hao. What else? What else am I missing? Good morning. Good morning. Hi, you're saying that? Alrighty. Um, hi everyone, my name is Colin. Oh, that's me. Um, I'm originally from Indonesia, um, from a small city called Malang in East Java. Any Indonesians here? Hi! Anyone study Indonesian? Bagus, bagus. Okay, so I moved to Perth in 2010. I went to Mangoli Senior High. Um, and I didn't pick up any foreign languages at the time because I was trying to improve my English, but I continued um, Indonesian as a background speaker. And I'll talk more about it later. Um, I, this, I'm doing my last semester of my Bachelor of Arts here at UWA. Exciting, I'm going to graduate soon. <laughs> um, and I study Bachelor of Arts in French and Linguistics. Um, I actually do linguistics with Sinla, and that's my picture in Lyon, in France, with the Indonesian community. So yes, I have been travelling all around the world. Why? Because I study languages. Thank you, Shayna. Colin, you're an incredibly passionate language learner. Tell us what you love about each of the languages you speak, and the highlights of learning languages. Alright, um, first of all, if I ramble on, Eros, just stop me. And you're like, next! <laughs> so, um, don't freak out, I actually do speak um, seven languages um, with different um, degrees of fluency. So, um, I have two mother tongues, which is Indonesian and Javanese. Let me repeat, Javanese, not Japanese. Yeah. Um, so it's the language of the island of Java. Um, and then, obviously I learned English and then I came here. Um, I speak a bit of Mandarin. I understand better than I can speak or write because, hello. <laughs> um, I'm Indo Chinese, so my ancestors are from, originally from Fujian in China. Is anyone from Fujian? No? <laughs> anyone from China? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. Um, and then at uni, I decided to learn French. And then next year Spanish, and then next year Italian. Let me start by um, Indonesian. Um, I have a neutral um, feeling for Indonesian because it's the national language of the country, but I love to write in Indonesian. Um, back when I was in Indo, I used to be um, I used to be so involved in journalism and um, creative writing, and I got two short stories published in a magazine, and I did get paid for that. Um, Japanese, my other mother tongue. I describe it as an earthy language because it's the language that, I don't know, home. It's that, you know, it brings me back home. And it gives me that extra layer of defining my identity. Not only that I'm Chinese background, Indonesian by birth, but I'm also Javanese because I was born in that area. And I love to swear in Japanese. Anyone from Java here? Yes, okay. So, you know the F word in English, right? I'm not going to say it. But in Japanese, right, there is this word that starts with J. Do you guys know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, I love saying that word. When I'm angry, yeah? Um, and then, don't say it, don't say it. And English is, English is very useful, you know. Um, I use it um, for academic and for work. Uh, English actually helped me to learn French and then Spanish and then Italian um, because of the, a lot of like vocabulary similarities between English and French and um, French. I love French literature, music, philosophy, and when I speak French, I feel, huh? Oui, madame. I feel more sophisticated, more, you know, more intelligent. Can I say snob? No, like philosopher. Okay, philosopher, okay. Espanol. Does anyone speak Spanish here? Yeah? De donde eres? 
de México. Woo. Uh, when I speak Spanish, I feel sexy, like <laughs> Shakira. Cuando hablo en español, me siento muy, muy sexy. Quiero bailar, ¿no? And it's very useful. It's spoken in more than 20 countries. Um, you can travel around, you know, um, in South America and just speak Spanish. Quickly, Italian, happy, romantic, has allowed me to travel around Italy, appreciate art, history, and food, and I did get the chance to visit uh, my professor's hometown in Bergamo. Mandarin, uh, it's important for me to go back to my roots and it's the language of my ancestors and my grandparents, so yeah, love it. So Colin, why did you decide to learn your first language of Indonesian um, when you went to high school in Australia? What benefits did it bring? Okay. Um, as I said before, in high school, I didn't pick up any foreign languages like French, Italian, or Chinese because at the time I wanted to improve my English, so I um, did the ESL program. Um, but I also continued with my Indonesian, um, I think it's called Indonesian background speakers. Um, simply because I love Indonesian, right? Aku cinta bahasa Indonesia. You too? Kamu juga? Sama sama. Um, so I wanted to continue speaking and learning about my own language um, here in Perth. So that's reason number one. Reason number two, low bonus, come on. <laughs> that low ATA bonus, you know, that extra score. Um, I wanted that, you know. If that could get my ATA from, I don't know, say 90 to 93 or 90 to 95, bring it on, right? And that, and that's not just for Indonesian, for whatever languages you guys are studying. And don't forget, I think the, um, the presentation that um, was given before, you guys can actually learn other languages, like your own languages, if it's available, and you just need to contact the right person. Um, and don't you just love it when people acknowledge your skills and efforts um, and give you that extra bonus, right? So that's the reason why I decided to um, learn Indonesian in high school. Thank you, Colin. Okay, so Colin, with such a broad range of language skills, what type of career path are you hoping to follow in the future? And how do you foresee your knowledge of languages being beneficial? We might just keep the answers brief, because we want to get more <laughs> Okay, so just me personally, I'm interested in education, um, theatre and languages. Um, I'm going to do honours next semester, um, so that's research, and I'd like my research topic to focus on how theatre or using theatre techniques can improve our language learning, right? So, for me personally, um, I don't know, I don't know yet. Um, I could go into teaching, you know, I could be your future French or Indonesian teacher, or drama teacher maybe, so I could be a teacher, or I could be an actor and win an Oscar, right? <laughs> and not just, you know, be in movies where I play um, characters who speak English, but also be versatile enough to play characters who speak, you know, French, Italian, Chinese, etc. Right. Cool. Three. Thank you, Colin.